I'm going to switch it over to our senior correspondent of media affairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to know what's going on in the media? This yeah, thing? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Look, I gave you a whole job title. I, I senior correspondent that. of media affairs. That shit I, sound important. It does. It does. <laughs> um, so this week in uh, social media news, um, Gail King. Oh, my God. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Gail King um, was, I don't know if I want to say she was inappropriate. It, yeah, it was very inappropriate. It was inappropriate. It there was had inappropriate. not been a memorial yet. Yeah, that was very it was, inappropriate. It was inappropriate. She brought some inappropriate uh, things about Kobe Bryant in her Lisa Leslie interview, and um, which which brought on a lot of things. First of all, Lisa Leslie took it very well. She handled it very well. She handled the situation. I, I commend her because she... Whoever media trained her did a great job. Right, because in, inside, I'm sure she wanted to go off. <laughs> but she did not. She kept it very classy. Um, but, yeah, Gail King was definitely a little wrong for that. Um, and everybody has definitely told her about herself. Since, mm. um, I would hope so. Yes. Um, Snoop Dogg kind of went in on her. And everybody, of course, felt... I mean, everybody has their different opinions. But... Number one, that whole situation is dead. That whole situation is done because right. it was it was dropped. It was a long time ago. Like nobody was saying anything about it. Nobody had anything to say. Then this happens. You know, we lose him tragically, and that's what y'all want to bring up. Like, I mean, why is that even on the table? My my thing is this: as a black man, any black man, and just alone being a celebrity. Even if you're acquitted, the case is dismissed, it's, that's still going to be something that people are going to hang over your head. And it shouldn't be because, okay, boom. Like, if you, look at the, if you look at the details from the case, you know, the young lady that, uh, that uh, pressed the charges in the first place, the, the reason why the case was dismissed because she refused to testify, mm -hmm. you know. And then other stuff started coming out that – the hotel that she worked at, she was running a whole business out of the hotel. Mm -hmm. You know, not to degrade her or, you know, whatever she's doing, but, you know, it's 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 a lot of moving pieces with that. And look, Absolutely. the case was dismissed. So it's nobody nobody should say anything about it. You know, it's it should be once you once you get tried in court by your peers, as long as you don't pull no OJ and write a book that if, if I would have <laughs> did, did it. <laughs> if I did it, you know, you should be <laughs> like, we should, why, why are we even talking about, it? you know what? I hadn't even heard any. I honestly forgot about I it. I did too. I honestly I forgot, forgot about it. I you forgot. know, and when I, when I, when I watched it, when I watched, cause I saw the interview clips on social media, I was like, mm -hmm. I need to watch the whole thing because it's no way that, um, you know, Gail King went there. There's no way she was that disrespectful. It's just the internet being petty. But no, like she was. She went there. Yeah, I was just like, come on, man. She went there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we always say innocent until proven guilty, and I feel like people completely take that in reverse. Even though we say innocent until proven guilty, people just go with guilty until proven innocent. And right. I mean, even even if that's the case, even if that's how they feel, then he was proven innocent. Right. So either way, case closed. Like that's done. Um, like you said, most people have forgotten about it. I forgot about it. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What are y'all talking?" Oh, oh, that's right. That did come up. Whatever, right. and it was done. Yep, it was and, over. Um, with. and like, and somebody had somebody said y'all had years to talk about that. Like while he was here, y'all could have talked about that when he was retiring. Like y'all could have brought that up then. Mm -hmm. There was so, there's been so many instances while he was alive that if y'all wanted to go ahead and bring that back, then y'all could have brought that back. But y'all wait until he passes away, until he passes on and everybody's trying to, you know, respect the legacy that he built. And this is what you want to keep bringing up. Like you want to tarnish his image for no reason at all. Right. And then, the, the, the sick part about it to me was this interview was done before it was a memorial service because the memorial is the 24th of this month, 224, which is his daughter's number and his number. Mm -hmm. So it's the 24th of this month. And, you know, just the fact that just doing, first of all, just doing an interview and bringing up that topic is, yeah. is, is nasty and disgusting anyway. And then on top of that, his family is still mourning. 
he has a daughter that's around that's old enough to know what's going on and, you know, to have to watch social media and TV and all this stuff and yeah. see people talk about her father this way because she was old enough to know what was going on when it happened. You know, she's like, what, 17 now? Yeah, she's older. I yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like 17, 18 ish. Yeah. yeah, somewhere around there. So, I mean, you know, it's just. It's just, you know, and then his wife on top of that, you know, his wife is mourning and she, she's dealing with the loss of a, a child and her husband and mm-hmm. then having to watch, you know, um, Gail King parade around these nasty questions. Right. You know, it's just. And I think the I think one of the also one of the biggest things about it was to have that coming from someone from our community. Like some have that come from a black person, right? Right. I think that was the biggest deal. Like it's like we're all mourning together. We're all you know honoring his legacy together, and then for you know one of us to come uh, mm-hmm. come out and do that, and right. I think it just made it even worse. And just it's just the line of questioning that was wild to me too, because um, you know she asked Lisa the question, um, and Lisa responded. Um, And I'm paraphrasing, so don't quote me. Um, But she responded to the effect of, you know, that's not the man that I knew Kobe to be. Um, Kobe was very respectful, this, this, and that to the third. Mm -hmm. And Gail's follow-up was, but you wouldn't know because you're his friend. What the fuck? Like, so first of all, not only did you insult Kobe, who has passed, you insulted Lisa Leslie's intelligence for, um, you know, uh, gauging somebody's personality just because that's it. I, I got fucked up friends and I tell them all the time, nigga, you fucked up, mm-hmm. but that's still my friend. And, <laughs> and Lisa said, she said there are other basketball players that she might not have put, put that past right. in. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Um, but yeah. And then, um, it brought up the whole thing with Gail and Oprah kind of backing, um, Harvey Weinstein because they're his friends. Mm hmm. And all the mm-hmm. things that he's done, and, and yet you want to. This is what you want to put it, um, bring to light, but you don't want to talk about that. And comparing the two is like apples and oranges. It, Har- it Harvey is. Weinstein had multiple accounts of uh, sexual exploitation or sexual um, right. um, instances with with women or whatever, and Kobe had one. So it, right. it's it's, it's, it's yeah, no I'm, comparison. It's no comparison. But what I'm saying is, she comes to comes to Lisa Leslie and said, "Oh, you wouldn't know because that's your friend." Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do you know about your friend? Right. Because y'all acting like you know he's done no wrong or nobody wants to speak on it, nobody wants to say anything. Um, but then you want to go come come against her about her friend mm-hmm. that was. That's already been, you know, that case has already been closed. Right. While your friend has open cases right. and a right. lot of, like, a lot of evidence stacked against him. Absolutely. Right this very moment, you know. So, and it's, it's, it's sad, man. It's sad. Yeah.